common problems from this last week's homework was calculating the standard deviation. Now, such as in problems 8, 9, and 10. Now we could use the formula that's in the book and use our calculator to perform those calculations, um, but it's much better to use StatCrunch. And the sooner that we get it into using uh, StatCrunch or Excel or anything like that, the better it's going to be. Now, here's problem 8. Um, first part of this question was calculate the range. Now that the range is just the largest number, 4140, minus the smallest number, 2930. Um, S, remember, is the sample standard deviation. If it was the population standard deviation, it would be sigma. But this is the sample. And now we could use, and let's go ahead and use StatCrunch to calculate this sample standard deviation. Click on this, or just mouse over, and you see it says click to copy table. Let's just click on that, and we got the option of opening in StatCrunch. Now notice you get a big gray box here. That is not uncommon, unfortunately. Um, it means that your plugin or your Java is not recognized by StatCrunch. Uh, my Java version is actually updated, and I have no idea why this is happening, but it happens. Uh, plugin not supported if you use Google Chrome. So to get around that, we're going to open in new StatCrunch. That opens up a whole new window here. Uh, that isn't too helpful because it just cheated and loaded all that data again. So I'm going to erase this data and show you how to get that data into the new StatCrunch. So notice blank table. Here's our, not the data. We're just going to close that because we really don't need that. We do however need the data. So here's the data. We can highlight this and copy it, except that the way the program is set up, the, the Pearson program, you're not allowed to highlight and copy. Or we can copy table to clipboard, which is the second option here. Click on that, and now all these numbers are now stored in our clipboard. And OK. So let's go back here. We can copy it from the clipboard to this table by doing control V. And notice we got all those numbers stored in there right away. Now we could if we want delete the var and call this something like PSI. We don't have to, that's completely optional. But the key now is let's go ahead and find out how to calculate the sample standard deviation. Go into stat. Almost everything we do is going to be in stat. Summary stats. Remember, we're calculating summary statistics. We need to calculate the sample standard deviation. We're going to do it by column. Click on that. Now we just have one column. Notice it automatically goes over. Skip these two. And this gives us the chance to specify which statistics, which sample statistics we want to calculate. There's a lot of them given. We'll just go ahead and take all of them because, well, not all of them, but we'll take these and compute. And this is what pops up. Tells us what the column name is. We called it PSI. Gives us the sample size, 8. Tells us the mean of those 8 values. Gives us the variance, the sample variance the sample standard deviation, and that's going to be what we want, the sample standard error, which is in a couple weeks, the sample median, the sample range, which we just calculated, the sample's minimum, the sample's maximum, and the sample's first quartile and third quartile. Recall that the first quartile is the value for which about 25% of the data is less than or equal to it. And the third quartile, similarly, is three quarters of the data is less than or equal to this value. And that's it. Notice the purpose here was to show you how to do these calculations in StatCrunch. And now you can interpret those values. Also, I need to show you how to get the data into StatCrunch easily, or in this case, not so easily.
and to, what to do when you get that big gray box. What you do is you don't panic, you just open new stack crunch. And then you got to somehow get the data back into it. Hopefully, as, Jav as the Java update uh, permeates through the system, um, you won't get those gray boxes anymore, but you still may. Anyway, I hope this was very helpful. Uh, take care of yourself. And have a great week.